What's happening, guys? So here we are on one of our favorite little crawls. We got water back in the creek, finally. Uh, Brad's got some steel wheels off of Banggood. He's mounted up some stock TRX4 Canyon tires, some 1.9s. And foams. And foams. And he's gonna try out this rock ride. They're not, the foam's not really broke in too good on them as far as mushy. And I'm still running my old two-stage foams and my old canyons on stock wheels. So we just thought we'd do a little video here and do a comparison since he's got these hard foams going. Uh oh. The water. Yeah, the water. the water. We were doing this last weekend with no water and cannot get up this thing. We went right up it. Well, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Mess you up. Yeah. Uh-oh. Give it a here. Good angle. Be there in a second. <laughs> Try this out. Look at that fold going. You did better than me. Uh, fold. Smoother. Look at that back tire. I know it. Fold your laundry. I'm telling you, I love Canyon tires. They are the best. I don't know what these people talk about, and y'all guys are gonna hate me, but I've got high rack tires mounted on Pro Line wheels, little plastic bead locks. I drilled holes in them. I ran them without drilling holes. Then I drilled holes, and then I got them wet, and I tried everything with them, but I. I don't know. I don't like them. They don't go up this stuff. This stuff right here, that Hyrax tire would hardly ever go up it. You would have to work it and get it just perfect to make it go up this thing at all. And heck, I'll, bra I'll break them out and show you. <laughs> we'll do another video. I'll bring the Hyrax tires back out and hate my life for a day of crawling. But if that's what you want to see, Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Yeah, if you want to see the, uh, the <laughs> high racks compared to the uh, canyons, uh, you can always comment and let us know. Yeah. RC Bread's going to get it again. Yeah, and I even had um, the uh, Goodyear, what are the MTR. The Wrangler. The Wrangler MTR. Kevlar. And they get really good out of the box, but they still do not compare to the canyons. No. I mean, there's stock canyons you got on there. Just, I don't know what it is. And maybe it's just where we crawl at that other guys are doing dry runs on stuff that we've never done before. Because, like I said, last weekend's the only time we never had a, we didn't have any water in the creek. And we really, both of us struggled to get up. I don't think either one of us made it up this piece right here. Uh, I think that was, yeah, it was last weekend. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway. Appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Here we are. Water in the creek, RC bread. Recon. Recon. Making... So, what I just did a video on was the canyons going up this uh, rock over here. And I said I was going to do a high racks video, so I just went, took the dirt bike, went back to the house. Grabbed the high racks tires on the pro line wheels. And so now I'm going to go over here and try to scale the rock with it and show you how it does. Brad, you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right. We're going to get Brad to do it again. All going up? It? Yeah, go ahead. Let's do it. Canyon tires. Bang good steel wheels. Bang good special. That's right. Kevin Talbot put him on those. He runs them on his TRX4. Oh, yeah. And he runs his on some 3S like crazy stuff that uh 6S. Oh yeah, he did that's right, he did run it on 6S and never tore them up, so they must be pretty good. We'll get these things down here and wet them up a little bit. There are holes drilled in these tires. In the actual tire, not the wheel. The wheels are sealed. So I'm not just gonna try not to make them try to make them look bad just because I know they're bad. I will try to do my best with them. I promise. Oh yeah. Take 
it a little bit to the left. A little to the left. My left or yours? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's getting there. I think it's about to go any second. The suspense is killing me. There it goes. Little fold on the back. Bumper stuck. What's, ooh, what's left of a bumper on the front of mine anyway. Mm -mm. Flexo so like ping pong paddle. Come on. I know you can do this. All right. Well, we made it up. It's uh go time, I guess. GoPro time. GoPro time. Well, we'll uh, continue down the creek, and I'll add some more. Uh, Videos on the end of this one. Here he is. Come on with it. RC bread. He wants to do a crawl video across this nice rock rock bed, rock bed on the creek. Show the smoothness of the uh, suspension. The suspension. suspension. Yeah, these uh, GTS uh, shop. Let me get up here on you. Get it. Perfect. About the smoothest I ever done that hill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on now. Action. Here we go. Action. Got the high rack tires back on. Well, still on. I got to do this little crawl right here. We've uh, been able to make this most times. So. Yeah, the creek washed it out, and you know, I put one little rock. To help get a little bit better approach and we'll see what happens. Maybe my line. Uh, I'm crawling this, I'm not bumping this. Beautiful. With high rack tires. I, I know I talk junk about them, but uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> the bodies are great. The bodies are a little crunchy, <laughs> like a crunchy taco. But uh, that was actually pretty impressive to me for a high rack tire. I'll be honest with you. Now we're gonna do canyons. We just want just want to switch. I can yeah. Talk. RC bread here on the ones and twos. Two and eight. Twos and eight. <laughs> Canyon tires. <laughs> Stock foam, not broke in. Yeah. But I mean, just like that. Yeah, it went right up on there. Let's see how much. Oh, yeah. Like you I, had, I, you, I actually did. You, I didn't did you have, do it back, back down and do it again. I, did you? I, I, I didn't mean to do that uh, quite that hard. So we're going to check it out again. And don't say anything about those bang good steel wheels being an advantage for him. He's got about 62 out or what 62 what kilograms? 68, 68 grams. Grams, sorry. Of uh 
brass on the front of his and I have the heaviest ones that I could find. 90, I think they're 96. 96 grams of brass in the front. So. I like mine better. I like the, uh, the brass. Uh, He's got finished. the, yeah, I, I bought the ones that's black finished and he, all he would have had to do, I should have just bought those and just spray painted them black if I wanted to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. Uh, I want you to run through with my truck and I want to run through with yours just right. to show everybody that, see, that one mine. Uh, okay, you can't drive any better. It's just tight. Okay, check it out. Here he is, Hyrax. Same TRX4. Same gear and same motor, different brass. Oh yeah. It would already went up there fast by, behind me. Like, gonna mess my angle up and everything. Ugh. My buddy is a little bit more. Yeah, out. he does. He has a little more trim on the front, but that left front's grabbing. They pulled it. I'm telling you, I, I, that line. You, you know the line, huh? Well, I'm going to try it and not know the line with the uh, canyon tires and let's switch it out here. And let's see what happens now. Back on the ones and twos. Yep. Oh, yeah, look at them things. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, by the way, just if, if you're wondering, uh, we're running the um, 27 turn home hobby. Uh, 550, 550 dis disposable. Love them. They're the greatest disposable you can buy. I just ordered the Trail Master. Uh, well, no, Crawl Master. What yes. did I order? The uh, 12 turn 550 five pole. Yeah. Now let me concentrate and, here. And we're going to see the torque difference and everything. We're, we are going to make a video on that as well. Apparently, I don't have a right line. Well, that thing's crawling. I'm gonna try to see if I can do it off camera here, real bad. Well, I got this thing all messed up yeah. on the line. Let's see if she'll grip and rip. Nope. Gonna rip something. You hit it'll rip something. <laughs> I'm also running the uh, Hobby Wing 1080. Oh yeah, that's right. You do have different ESC. Yeah. Just, it is. It did load up the same as the XL5 right there. Because I was noticing that about mine. Pulling the trigger, pulling the trigger, hoping it will bounce, pop up, or start crawling. And XL5, similar to this Hobby Wing, he's got a. Uh, actually was loading the tires up, up underneath the bottom of the rock, and trying, and then all of a sudden just broke and came out all together. So, throttle control. Yeah, and it's, it's throttle control stuff. I think he did choose a better line on me than that, so I'm not going to say yay or nay on whether the high racks were actually better on that line or not. It's yeah, just, I'm with you. He chose a better line than I did. Yeah, though. I'm definitely with you. I mean, we, we both drove the trucks. I mean, the high racks with me running the red truck did just as, just as uh, good as the uh, Canyons did, so we'll catch you on the flip side. That's right. Easy there. Come on now. You had to get that one. About to surf it out. Here we go. Favorite favorite crawl spot of the creek. Love it. It's just this whole thing. It's so beautiful. Check it out. You got water trickling down. Pay it carefully. We actually have water this time, so that's good. Pulled up. Full water. Dirt bike. RC bread. Right. All right. Let's see what you got. I'm sure now that the camera's on, I'll mess it up. Yeah, I know. We just both did this, and I was uh actually pretty impressed with the Hyrax tires for the first time. Not the first time, but first time in a while yeah. yeah today we've been impressed all day yeah i don't know why they got soaked up last year set on the shelf all winter Come on. or all summer sorry that was nice Thanks. and then 
You're good. Oh. Mm. A flexo light ping pong pedal. That's right. Here we are. Yeah, yeah bro. Get the shit off my window. I no, can't you even, can't, can't even see. see. You know what I'm saying? Tinted windows. I tell you what, I think <clears throat> I like hobby wing stuff a lot, but I've got a Max Six in my uh, X Max. Brad's got the uh, what is it? It's the uh, Hobby Wing uh, 1080 brush, That's quick right. run. And I've got in my uh, armor setting, I've got the XR8 SCT. I think it's awesome. Even though you got to buy a programmer and not the LED version, the LCD version, so that you can go in and put it in reverse once you buy it. Because it comes set up default as forward, no reverse, forward brake, no reverse. Which so, is really fun if you're running with yeah, people. Yeah, I mean, it's a race type setup, so you gotta get ready for that. I w really wanted the XR10, or no, the, the Max 10, sorry, SCT. But I tell you what, the XL5, and these things, and I'm just bought a light bar today. It's on back order for a from a main. It's a 1.5 inch. It's three LED lights, or it's waterproof. It's got the, I think it's JCT. I'm gonna probably say it wrong, but it's the, the red connector that comes off the XL5. It's a JCT connector, male, and it comes with a female. So we'll check it out and see if it's got enough length to go from the front bumper, what's left of my front bumper which is just a crossbar to go back to the XL5 JCT connector and connect. And I'm also going to wire a switch in there, so I'll probably get a little more room out of it so I can turn it on and off and leave it plugged up. Now, here we go. Yeah. Enough talking. Enough talking. <laughs> Sometimes you got to walkie-talkie, you know? Yeah, walk it like you're talking. you damn. My left rear is in the yeah. hole. Yeah, I had to get that out and get back up on there. There you go. Want to go? Want to go left? Probably just need to turn right. You know. We're <laughs> That's what it seems like sometimes. And see, the water does so much. It it almost makes the rock slicker so that it'll slide down and be in the perfect position, just so you can do that. Yeah. So you just can crawl, crawl stuff. right up it. Well, it's we so did, we great. come out here and did, did this dry like the tires just. I don't know what it was about them being dry, but the tag on tires would not grab any of this stuff like that. But that's why we creek crawl. That's right. Hashtag creek crawl. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll get the uh, transmission here. Oh, well, easy there. Yeah, Slickery. It's okay. I saved it. The rocks are slick. Yeah, very. First rain. Got some. Mmm. Uh... Mmm. What happened there? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah. This is a uh, always been a hard procedure. The old transmission. I think it's gonna flip this time. No. That brass holds the front end down. It does. So Amazingly. good, man. I'm telling you. Look at that. We ran, we ran these things last year. That's no cool. brass. Yeah. When in the heat of the moment, you can't. There she is. There she is. The old TRX4 Sport. That's man. all she wrote. I'm telling you. You can't you can't beat the sport. I don't care. I had and there's some videos of the uh, my TRX4 with the uh, Proline blue Jeep body already painted, stickered, decaled, sorry. $85.99, I think it is. I bought it off A main thing. You had to put the high mount rear post on it like the I guess the defender and the tactical all of uh, or defender runs in the land so that body is lighter than this body much lighter it's way thinner leg sand and just that higher body brings the CG up so bad on this thing like right right there on that spot like he was 
flipping backwards and it was really really horrible yeah. i got some videos we yeah. got some videos enough talk nay let's crawl Walk talking. Talking about. the high racks are uh really surprising me this time yeah they're they're performing today i don't know why they like, like we said earlier you just you run them a little bit <laughs> get them wet and set them on the shelf for a year and then they're good <laughs> Ooh, mm. She loaded up. Yep. I ain't gonna get the transmission. I'm gonna try it. Might as well. She either will or she won't. <laughs> mm. Rear bumper. Rear bumper. Come on. Pull me back right really hard. Dang. Oh my God. That right rear. I can't believe that. Nah, that Dude, right, I can't believe that. That right rear was daggone folded up <laughs> bad. It was, I actually blew one of these things. The uh, Hyrax tire, or the Pro, sorry, the Pro Line wheel that comes oh, with, yeah, with these right. is, uh, is, uh, is a little bead lock. It's bolted from the inside. And last year, I'd bind these things up and actually spin the wheel on the tire yep, and yep. have the tire all <laughs> wadded up and it was stuck that way. So I'd have to dang, take the whole wheel off, take the wheel apart and clamp it back together to get it centered back. But uh, anyway, I know I talk a lot of junk about high racks as always did. Always will. But, and, but today they are pre for me. Yeah, That's crazy. Yeah, I know. And I hope, I really hope these phones hold up. I'm. Surprised they set all summer long after being soaked so much last yep. year and have as much. I mean, the tires pumped up. It I looks mean, like could, a. I mean, it looks like you could run down the highway with those tires. <laughs> yeah. Whereas you've seen my TRX4 with the <laughs> uh, two stage foams in them. Yep. My first stage is pretty much rotted out, I think. So I'm down on the uh, closed, or the, uh, what is it called? The um, closed cell. Yeah, the closed cell foam which doesn't take water at all. And I think they'll run like that forever. Really? Well, not forever. Obviously. Nothing's forever on one of these things. No. I just reburied my TRX4 because... Yeah, we thought I the had, motor was going. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, it was that bad. It, it, was, it was, and I went in it. I found one blown out in the transmission and one in the rear portal. Changed them all. Changed everything because I just want to change them all at the same time. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we're gonna keep on playing around. We'll do some more videos. Easy to hair on them rocks. <laughs> they slippery. <laughs> Catch y'all on the flip side. Right.